Alright, welcome back to Breath Edge. Johnny J. Appleseed here. I was just having a look at the saved game and I've got 27 hours into this game already to get this far in the story. So without further ado, let's go and examine the accelerating station and see what um, what's going on there. I believe we need to restore power to it or something like that. Let's drop those items. Another closed door. How original. I think they could have come up with something more interesting than that. Okay, I need the sword drill for that. <laughs> uh, I wish I hadn't said anything. <laughs> what the? I take my words back. I wish it was another closed door. Uh, enough with this originality. <laughs> Ooh. Energy cores. I've actually collected quite a few of those. those wires, or with these ones. Um, but it definitely is connected, which means you can restore the power supply. Apparently, the coffins were pulling the wires, but someone killed them all. Hmm. Miscellaneous goo. with the fork trolley with the forklift trolley pallet trolley whatever you call the thing what an impressive size of this hall I assume that we're in the classified modules of the liner that belong to its central core only the chosen ones like your grandfather could admire them okay So many resources. What the heck? Do I really want to meet what beat the snot out of these coffins? Ooh, hello. Be careful, there's some activity ahead. Something shooting. It looks like some of the coffins are still functioning. that one taken care of. What strange equipment? I can't say for certain what it is, but it looks like some old data processor with basic artificial intelligence. Ow. Taken care of. Hmm. 
It's likely the coffins unplugged the accelerating station, plug this thing in instead, and try to... I have no idea what they're trying. We just need to plug in the accelerating station. Okay. Finally, something useful to do with the, um, with the gun. Well, I mean, I did I shut that other thing off, but... Seven the airlock gates. It looks like there's a powerful, deadly, and unstable power source behind this airlock, and we need to get in there, of course. <laughs> of course we do. Is there anything to examine here though? Give us lots of nice stuff. Someone broke open the control panel. I don't want to panic, but we can't open these gates unless I find a loophole in their locking system. <laughs> Scan. Figure that I might need to do that. Hidden burglar proof hinges. Mechanical action isn't possible. Judging by the encoding, there's a high pressure hydraulic drive system built in here. We won't be able to move the doors apart. Hmm. The gates are recessed into the floor and have bastion armored floor coverings. Hmm. All the electronics are protected by double encoding and a hidden duplication system. The estimated average hacking time is two million years. At least six layers of a sixth class durability alloy. <laughs> My sensors can't get any deeper than that. I'm going to scan, scan, scan. And here's its weak spot. Well, compared to the rest of the solid mass of the door, if we try very hard, we can leave quite a decent dent here in a couple of years. Probably. <laughs> I think now I understand how these gates work. We need to check the central locking valve. Yes, I figured out how to open it. For starters, we need three live hamsters, two electrical tapes, a bottle, a grenade, about 20 kilograms of metal, wire frame, two motors but not too powerful, paint, or rather part of a paint spray can, and some small iron balls, only two or three hundred of them. Okay. But, uh, I'm uh, I, uh, <laughs> this game is worthless. <laughs> no, seriously. Why is there a door on a secret and protected object that you can just... Forget about the door. I can't believe it. This is an additional small core of the liner unnamed. It's still working. Unbelievable. Can we get up here? No. Looks like there's stuff up top there though. Hmm. Intriguing. What could it be? Why is there a second call? Caution. There's a coffin on the control platform. Hmm. Is that one still functional? It seems that this coffin destroyed all the others. I think that it's... No! It can't be! But the signal was lost. How is this even possible? Still, there's no doubt. It's definitely him. It's your grandpa. <laughs> the coffin with your relative died in a battle with other coffins. I don't understand anything anymore. I know it's not easy, but we need to check him out. Oh, what have we got here? My dear man, if you're reading this now, it means that I didn't succeed. But you noticed my note on the fridge, or on the mirror, 
or in the corridor, or on the dresser, or on your forehead. Sorry, I tried to leave them everywhere possible. You must stop the flight of the liner, ASAP! I've been working as an engineer at the Scientific Research Institute of Space Development for nearly 58 years. And in the last several years, we've been fulfilling orders for the Breath Edge Funerary Agency. I haven't told you much about my work. I'm so sorry. But it's not that important right now. I started to notice that the Breath Edge Agency was making odd requests, and I conducted my own investigation. Now I'm sure they're not who they say they are. Breath Edge is perhaps the biggest and most dangerous fraud in human history. Please, take this recording and our chicken to Boris Grama. You do remember my old friend at the investigation department, don't you? Today I'll try to get closer to them. I need hard evidence. I love you, <laughs> Grandpa. And don't forget to feed the chicken. She is the key. <laughs> the Breath chicken. Edge. No, I don't understand. So all of this could have been avoided if you would at least wash your face? I... I... I don't know what to say. But it doesn't matter now. The main thing is that your grandpa knew something about the coffins, the disaster, and the company that created me. I'll try to decipher the tape and wait in case you want to bury your relative. Bury grandpa. Put him over there on the emergency eject platform. I should have recommended that the funeral protocol be followed and that you take the deceased to the shuttle, but with such damage to the coffin, your relative's body would soon simply spill out all over the deck. He didn't deserve this. <laughs> Damn. Now we need to open the airlock and pay our last respects to this great man. <laughs> He's been caught up in the planet's gravity. How beautiful. Wait a second. What is a neutron bomb? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Seems like reading notes isn't your thing. To be honest, I've no idea what fine you might get for destroying a potentially habitable planet, but I'll be melted down into a toaster. <laughs> I'll definitely be melted down. What a shame. Or maybe. Can we just forget everything? <gasps> Activating partial defragmentation of the data. Beep, beep, beep. Defragmentation complete. What happened to this planet? It was like this when we got here, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> okay, then. I don't have a defragmentation function. It's time for us to get out of here and hope we die before the justice system gets to us. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what was it? What? You did it? How did you get there? Urgently stop the structure you know it's me. <laughs> Given the circumstances, I'm even more certain that this is another hoax and we shouldn't be distracted by her. Besides, she knows that we blew up the planet. Now we need to focus on activating the accelerating station and getting to the central core to activate the warp acceleration. Wait, just want to read the rest of that message quickly. <laughs> What was it? What, you did it? How did you get there? Urgently stop the destruction of universe and save me. I was able to calculate my coordinates. It's da 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 da. Fly faster. There is little oxygen here. Please hurry up. Okay. Now what? Connect the accelerating station. Okay, there's a thingy with do up over there. <laughs> thank you. I'll get off there. Thank you. I suppose that the blue wire leads to the accelerating station because it's written on it. <laughs> Hit. Did it right. 
Now you only need to do the same thing to a couple of more places on the wire, and then the small core will be able to power the accelerating station. <laughs> so, I couldn't decipher the compromising evidence, but I copied its contents so you wouldn't lose them. Now I think it's time for us to sum up everything that happened. Your grandpa was investigating a global conspiracy in Breathage, but he died, leaving behind a programmed killer robot with compromising evidence. You, um, how shall I put it? You weren't able to find your grandpa's warnings on the note stuck to your own forehead. You took his dead body directly on board the liner unnamed, which he clearly didn't want to get on. A few hours later, the liner was attacked by the Green Universe, who was tricked by someone and used for that someone's own purposes. The Green Universe, apparently, goofed up, so the liner crashed into an old station and exploded. Then hundreds of coffins got activated, turning into aggressive robots that killed the survivors. Your grandpa also got activated and wanted to pass the compromise evidence on to someone he knew, but died a second time. Now we have this compromising evidence, and the killer robots clearly know about it. Don't you think we're at risk? <laughs> Damn. What a story. Okay, so we gotta get out of here as quickly as possible. Got so much resources, I'm not gonna bother Look, about... Look, Andy here. Great, there's one more left. Third node. Okay, go through here. You need a handy scrapper here. Wonderful. You powered the accelerating station right. somehow, but I don't feel like explaining how. It's time for us to get back to Normandy <laughs> before more coffins arrive. The accelerating station is active, so get close to it while I prepare for acceleration. Let's go and find Babe. Hope Babe is in the coffin. Wait a second. The next autopilot point has the same coordinates that Babe sent you in the last message. So she called Captain Shepard for help too since he marked her coordinates? This definitely doesn't bode well for us. Space battle commence. Oh, these controls. They're terrible. <laughs> Man, these uh, reanimated coffins are terrible flyers. Okay. jump okay all right let's go I'll try not to reboot <laughs> When selecting useful items, keep in mind there are no useful items. <laughs> oh, no. Well, let's see. Good work. I rebooted anyway. I hate acceleration. Okay. We seem to have arrived. However, I have some good news and some bad news for you. The good <laughs> news is that you've learned to control the steering wheel very well. And the bad news is that you're no longer in control of Normandy. It looks like an old <laughs> magnetic acceleration airlock system. And the autopilot has taken over the control for forced docking. I don't know much about magnetic airlocks, but we probably won't be allowed to disengage without remote clearance for departure. Hmm. Of course, your interlocutor can't be here. It's the debris of an old space station of the Breath Edge Funerary Agency. We've been in such a station before. No, one thing still bothers my mind. Like, I can imagine you 
But how could Captain Shepard have bought into this babe's messages and routed a course here? This is beyond my understanding. <laughs> we have arrived. Okay. Examine the Brithid station. Yes, now there's no doubt that this is an old magnetic airlock with an active acceleration system. I recognize some of its parts. We'll have to find the airlock control center if we want to leave. <laughs> Just metal. Gonna need some water. Okay. It's interesting. We got containers we can break now. Let's save here. Okay. Apparently, the airlock hasn't been used for a long time. Well, I suppose you could deduct that now from the stage. Now we just need to find the before. control center and try not to make any noise. <laughs> okay, I guess we can forget about the ladder and just find the control center. We've been to the debris at this station before. I recognize the outdated components manufactured by Breath Edge 50 years ago. I recommend that you be extremely cautious as somebody may have already discovered us and prepared a cunning trap. <laughs> this door doesn't creak. Maybe we'll even manage to sneak in unnoticed. <sighs> What the master rate is over, weak human. Prepare him to interrogation. <laughs> Prepare with pain. I'm confused. It's not babe, is it? Well. And so we come back to the beginning. At last, you tell truth. I believe you. But it is not save you. You humans always to ruin everything. Everything went so smoothly. Our creator. Under guise of a cosmic funeral, created an invincible army of robot coffins. Green universe needed to stop the liner. We killed all, captured the core, and connect to the great mother station. <laughs> Power of the core allows our creator to control grand attack of coffins across the galaxy and take over the power but humans from Green Universe were not able to execute simplest job and destroy our center with the liner and damage our great mother station. Idiota. Okay. But it does not matter. War already began. Since you <laughs> not pass compromising evidence in time, the humans cannot prepare. The main attack will not be centralized without the core, but we are many, and we still capture the world for our creator, and you die. Take away and prepare for disposal. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, it's not time to sleep. Can you feel my electrical zaps? Try to get up. We need to do something. <laughs> Come on, get up, quietly. Why does it move? Shoot! You didn't prepare it. How do you wake up? You're supposed to fly. Your body must not move. You spoiled embalming compound. But it does <laughs> not matter. 
Well, since you are so cling to life, weak human, before you die, I want to show you something. Yes, before you die, I showed you this. <laughs> and you cannot skip it. Whatever you do, <laughs> do you cannot skip these crawling letters. <laughs> Press it, quick! It doesn't work. Does this game have any mechanics at all? <laughs> it looks like this was our last chance. I feel sorry it ended like this. It was a pleasure spending time with you. It's time to finish. We kill them. out of this cage. I doubt the hinges on the bars are any stronger than anything you've destroyed before. Uh, some dude got roasted. <laughs> Have we really found the owner of the ship that saved us? The handwriting is identical. It's nothing but fate that brought him here. <laughs> nice. to get out the hinges you say where's my hinge tool so now I use a hinge scrap on there Okay, so there's one hinge. Wouldn't it make a lot more sense to use the drill saw on this? Interesting. We need to be careful. We don't know how many of these coffin bots are left here. Preservation capsules. They seem to contain the entire crew of this station. Interesting. So we need to get over there. And this one seems to be the capsule for you. How terrible! They preserve corpses right in their spacesuits. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be stuck here with your body for 40 years. The equipment is badly damaged. Even gravity has been disabled. At least the oxygen generators are working. By the way, how do you connect to them so quickly and imperceptibly on any debris? This is starting to raise questions. <laughs> what in the world is this? Oh dear. <laughs> hey, there's a process here. So I guess I'm supposed to make stuff. No, this is too much. Apparently, we did find Babe. Interesting. Something was being assembled here, or someone was being disassembled. Hmm, where to go? So this way. It looks like this is the only way out of here. I can see Normandy. I don't recommend flying too far from the station. We still need to find the control center, and we can't get into Normandy from outside. Mm. There's a hole there. At least I think there's a hole there. Yep, and it looks like a hole. I think I'll be able to get through there. It looks like some kind of technical corridor. I hope we can get to the control center from here. 
interesting looking device. Okay. Well, things are coming to a head. I still can't believe that the Breath Edge Agency is directly involved in all this. If the robot okay. hasn't lied to us, we need to send a compromising evidence before the massive attack begins. Otherwise, there will simply be nowhere to go back. I think there should still be some transmitting systems we'll near the core, and for the sake of saving the galaxy, I would strongly recommend using them before we attempt to activate the warp jump. Okay, can't go that way. Always oh, sounds like he's getting kicked in the gut every time you jump. That door doesn't open. Okay. What the? <laughs> Interesting. That's been ripped apart. Ooh. Crunch. I'll take that. I suppose I should start <laughs> picking up resources in case I need them. Like this place seems familiar. Isn't it where the coffin bots interrogated you? Interesting. Looks like we found one of the station's yeah. control centers. We could have figured out it was here. Examine. <laughs> I always believed it was real, and night must always save the princess, or it wouldn't be a real adventure, but it looks like I was just having some old gender neutral robot just saving some old gender neutral robot it's a pity but it seems that my grandpa was right about e-dating calling it Russian roulette with six rounds <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one Ooh. main one I'll take it as a souvenir. I defeated not just someone, but the main one, and that's something to be proud of. I'll use it to cut sausages. I'll use it to cut sausage on it with a blunt knife. Yeah, I okay, think this sure. knife was made by the robots themselves. It's a wonder that their outdated artificial intelligence has managed to develop into pure creativity. Interesting. Ooh. That looks like a big. Seems like the main systems are still working, unlike this coffin. Too bad. The coffin was connected to the control center and it burned out along with all the connectors on the panel. I can't connect so... directly to it, but with your just trying to saw it, as quietly as you can. They're probably looking for us. Alright, now switch that little receiver over there. Done. I've connected to... No, 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 no. Oh, it's rusty. Ugh, disgusting. All right. I, uh, well, I'm ashamed to admit, but the robot no longer has a direct connection to the station. But it still has an unencrypted cache block where I saw the most disgusting moments of this coffin bot's life. I also found the passwords for the doors and magnetic airlocks. But still, the absolute quantity of that abhorrent data was overpowering. We can go back to Normandy. <laughs> Okay, so far I haven't had to make anything, I haven't been forced to make anything. The coast is clear. They're trying to lure us into the shuttle. This isn't good. <laughs> Try not to damage the shuttle if shooting starts. That's it. This is the end. They're on the captain's bridge. I don't know what to do, but crap. Uh, where's the ambush? Did I turn on the suspenseful music for nothing? Ah, never mind. It's time for us to leave. <laughs> Clearance for departure received. There's only one step left. 
The Coffin Bots wanted to connect the core directly to the ship with the Mother Station, and we need to do something similar with Normandy. It will require a huge amount of energy to travel on the Pleasure Shuttle to the habitable sectors, and, as I've already mentioned, the core can give us that. If we're faster than the core exploding, of course. Of course. And yes, since there is no bait, we must... Uh -huh. What? I can see the signal has improved. Shepard, did you remove the interception equipment? I'm running out of action. The robots are everywhere. Hurry up. It can't up. be. We saw the robots die. We won't fall for this a second time because... Hey, easy there. Don't make me run. <laughs> Could you be more careful? We almost crashed. You won't fall for the same bait again, will you? We need to send the compromising evidence all over the galaxy and connect to the core without blowing ourselves up. We don't have time for non-existent survivors. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a ship like this. It looks like the coffins were going to use it to connect the core to the mother station, or they are still going to do it, judging by their activity. I've never realized how incredible an artificial intelligence must be to control an entire galaxy of coffins. <laughs> Judging by the burned out systems, these spaceships didn't have time to launch the core during the crash. <laughs> you crashed the captain's bridge into the core, but I doubt it. That's one down. Two down. One more to go. And done. All right. That's the cool. You can dock to this spaceship. Okay. The airlock is asking for access codes, and it's using foul language. This is the first time I've seen an airlock with an artificial intelligence, but it's clearly not happy with us. <laughs> Doc. We made it very angry by docking without clearance. You should have heard all those expressions. The airlock hates <laughs> us to the core. I can see you. Start the connection or try plan B. Start the connection? Plan B? I like charades. Okay. Well, that was interesting. We almost had the end of the, um, the episode. And, um, I'm going to stand over here. The music's a bit softer. Had the end of, almost had the end of the episode. Thought it was the end of the episode, but surprise, surprise. <laughs> and maybe, maybe Babe is a real person. So we're gonna go find out in the next episode. And um, yeah, just tell me what you think. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, yeah, share the video with a friend. Let them uh, let them know about the the let's play know about this game more importantly than anything else let them know about this game and i'll catch you guys in the next episode